Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to this special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again where we count down the 10 hottest Magic cards of the week. This week you will see a strong influence yet again from the Commander format that's been going on for over a year now, nothing too shocking there. However, this week it feels especially strong because we have the recent releases of Strixhaven in the Commander 2021 decks. A lot of players are building new Commander decks around some of these new cards. Quickly, before we get into the details, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Modern Horizons 2 products there. They also have a whole lot of other things on their website. Remember, if your order comes to over $100 or it consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use that promo code, it supports the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is the first of three cards on the list today that are part of the Witherbloom Witchcraft Commander 2021 deck. This is Sproutback Trudge. It goes up 239 this week to 298 for a 405% increase. Now, before we get into the details around this card, this is a good time to mention how we compile our top 10 list every week. We look at two major pieces of criteria. The first one is a percentage increase in value. The second is a true increase in sales. So if you expect a card to be here and it doesn't show up, it fell short in one or both of those categories this week. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about this card. Aside from seeing Commander play with some of the cards in the Witherbloom Witchcraft deck, things like Willow Dusk Essence Seer or Guyon Master Chef, it's also seeing play around some new Strix Haven cards in the format as well. Dina Soul Steeper, Belladros Witherbloom, and Valentin Dean of the Vein slash Lisette Dean of the Root. Number 9 is Liege of the Hollows. This goes up to 55 to 14.99. That is a 20% increase. Now, this has recently seen some increased commander play around Toski Bear of Secrets, but the reason it's moving this much right now is because of the box art to the Modern Horizon set booster box. You might have seen it a few moments ago, but it has a squirrel surrounded by other squirrels. A lot of people are speculating that it appears we might be getting some kind of legendary squirrel lord in the set. Couple that with the fact that this is a reserve list card getting harder and harder to find in good condition all the time, and this one is on the move this week. Number 8 is the second card of 3 from that Witherbloom Witchcraft Commander deck. This is Trudge Garden. It goes up 270 this week to 337 for a 403% increase. This is seeing Commander play in all the same new decks that I mentioned when we talked about Sprout Back Trudge a moment ago. Number 7 is Retraced Image. It goes up 276 to 799 for a 53% increase. This is getting more Commander play now. Some players are adding this as an upgrade to the Prismari Performance Commander 2021 deck. Others are building around a couple of the cards from that deck from scratch. Veyran Voice of Duality or Octavia Living Thesis. I've also seen this in some Gelazeth Prismari builds too. Number 6 is the third card from the Witherbloom Witchcraft Commander 2021 deck. This is Willow Dusk Essence here. This one is the front-facing foil commander in that product. It goes up $3.05 this week to $4.04. That is a 308% increase. This has quickly become a very popular commander. It's also found in the 99 and some new builds too. Things like Guyon Master Chef, of course, that's another card that's in the Witherbloom Witchcraft deck. But also it is showing up in some builds around Strixhaven cards like Belladros Witherbloom or Dina Soulsteeper. Number 5, Archmage's Charm. It goes up 656 this week to 1395 for an 89% increase. This is seeing a lot of modern play. You'll find this in different control builds. It's in Through the Breach, Demir Inverter, but it's also seeing increased commander play too now. You can find this in Octavia Living Thesis builds there. That is one of the cards from the Prismari Performance Commander 2021 deck. Number 4 is Wellspring. This goes up 909 this week to 1547 for a 143% increase. Now, this is on the reserve list. However, we're no longer really seeing a whole lot of cards moving just because they're on the reserve list. There is a reason this is jumping up in value. Now, granted, it's probably jumping up this much because of its status on the list, but the catalyst for this actually is a Modern Horizons 2 preview card we saw last week. That is Urza Saga. This is a saga as well as a land. And assuming there's more of these in the set, Wellspring could become a better commander card in the future. 
Number three is Creekwood Liege. The Modern Masters 2015 copy goes up 502 to 1999. That is a 34% increase. The Eventide copy goes up 1434 to 2853. That is a 101% increase. Now, some players have been interested in this as an upgrade to the Witherbloom Witchcraft deck. Of course, we know that deck's pretty popular right now. Others, though, are building around some cards from that deck from scratch and using this in those builds. Those cards are Willow Dusk Essence Seer or Guyon Master Chef. This is also showing up in Commander builds around a bunch of Strixhaven cards, too. Belladros Witherbloom, Dina Soulsteeper, and Valentin Dean of the Vein. And number two is in all of the same new builds that Creekwood Liege is in, moving for the same reasons. This is Savra, Queen of the Golgari. The Guilds of Ravnica Golgari Guild Kit copy goes up 1122 to 2395. That is an 88% increase. The Ravnica City of Guilds copy goes up 2667 to 2999. That is an 804% increase this week. And number one is Deranged Hermit from Urza's Legacy, in theory going up 3188 to 99.95 for a 47% increase. The card is going up in value, although I have not seen any sell for this price point quite yet. I have seen high grade copies go for about $60 and they are trending upward, so we'll have to kind of see where that goes over the next week or so. Not out of the question that it could at least get closer to this price point. And also, this is not the type of card you typically get graded, so I have not seen any high-grade graded copies sell. I would imagine one of those could sell for this price point or even higher. Now, with all that being said, again, this is not moving just because it's on the reserve list. There are reasons for this jump. First, this recently has seen increased commander play around Toski Bearer of Secrets. Now, there are players picking this up as an upgrade to the Quantum Quandrix Commander 2021 deck. This is good with Essex Fractal Bloom as the commander there or in a new build around that card from scratch. Another reason, though, that this is moving as much as it is right now ties back into that squirrel art on the Modern Horizons 2-set booster box we talked about earlier. All right, that's going to do it for this week's Top 10 Hot Cards of the Week. Remember to join us this weekend for our regular episode of The Market Watch, where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. Until then, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.